Voters in Michigan and Arizona are weighing in on the GOP presidential race today. And while Mitt Romney is considered a favorite in Arizona, he's locked in a fierce battle in his home state with Rick Santorum. As for Newt Gingrich, he chose to bypass those contests to focus on next week's Super Tuesday contest. The former House Speaker is with us now from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Speaker Gingrich, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Matt, it's good to be with you. Thanks. Last time you were on this show was January 26th. You had just won the South Carolina primary. In the time since then, just about a month, Mitt Romney has won five contests. Rick Santorum has won four. You have not won any additional contests. And in some ways, you've dropped out of the headlines. Why? Well, I think uh, Romney made the decision. He had to spend $20 million against me in Florida, ran an intensely negative campaign. I carried about a third of the counties in North Florida. He carried South Florida. In my counties, the vote actually went up. Uh, we then went to Nevada, and I came in second in Nevada. Uh, got about twice the vote John McCain got four years ago. Uh, and at that point, Rick Santorum had done something intelligent. He'd skipped South Carolina, Florida, and Nevada, right. put all of his resources into three states nobody competed in, and the news media had anointed him the alternative. So I think you have to live through this couple of weeks you know, we've done this before. I lived through uh, Tim Pawlenty, uh, Michelle Bachman, uh, uh, Donald Trump. Um, Herman Cain. Herman Cain, uh, Rick Perry. So, so I've been down this road before, do and you have uh, we optimism? keep collecting delegates. And do you have optimism? I mean, your sure. strategy now, you're not competing in these two contests today. Your strategy is looking forward to 10 states that will be uh, casting votes on Tuesday. What are you seeing in the polling there that makes you optimistic? Well, I think for sure we're going to carry uh, Georgia. I think we're probably going to carry uh, Tennessee and Oklahoma by the time we get done. I was here in Tennessee uh, with Fred Thompson yesterday. Uh, he's coming back. Herman Cain and my daughter Jackie are campaigning in the state. Uh, we have J.C. Watts campaigning with us in Oklahoma. I think we have a, a good shot of picking up delegates in uh, Idaho. We'll be competing heavily in Ohio. Uh, North Dakota has some very real possibilities. So I think we'll come out of Super Tuesday having picked up a number of delegates. And then we'll go on to Alabama and Mississippi where we'll win both of those. Uh, Governor Perry, who's supporting me, thinks that we'll eventually, when Texas votes, be 155 to zero in Texas delegates. It's a, so it's, I think we're, we're going to continue to amass delegates. It's an optimistic view, Speaker Gingrich. A lot of people feel the train has left the station and there are only two guys on it, and you're not one of them. I want to read something you know, that the conservative you know, national... But, Go ahead. Look, Matt, this is the fourth time the same guys have said the same thing. These guys said in June I was gone. By December, I was leading all the national polls by as much as 21 points, according to Rasmussen. Uh, then we got $5 million of negative ads dumped on us by Romney in Iowa. People said I was gone. We came back and won South Carolina, set a record. Uh, then Romney dumped $20 million of negative ads. Uh, we still survived, and we're still number two both in Florida and in Nevada. Uh, so I'm used to this kind of, you know, non-advice from people who are for Mitt Romney, which is what you're about to tell uh, the folks. Uh, we have a campaign now focused on $2.50 a gallon gasoline. People can go to newt.org and see the background of why I think it's possible. And as you watch gasoline prices go up, I think you're going to find that the Gingrich plan to get back to 250 a gallon gasoline has a lot of appeal to a lot of people I wanna, in every state in the country. I want to ask you about something else that made some headlines recently. It was a okay. comment that Rick Santorum made this weekend in Michigan referring to a speech that President Obama made to Congress back in 2009 where he said, I ask every American to commit to at least one year or more of higher education or career training. This can be community college or a four-year school, vocational training or apprenticeship. Now, in referring to that comment this weekend, Rick Santorum said, President Obama once said he wants everybody in America to go, go to college. What a snob. As a former college professor, how did you feel about that exchange? That, uh, you, know, you have to ask Santorum why he said that. I do think every American ought to get trained. I think it doesn't matter what your degrees are. It matters if you're employable. Uh, in North Dakota, because of the oil boom, they have 3.5% unemployment, but they have 16,000 jobs in the oil industry that are unfilled because the 3.5% who are unemployed don't have the right skills. So I've proposed that we add a requirement to unemployment compensation that you have to sign up for a business training program to learn some skill if we're going to give you money, but we wouldn't give people money for doing nothing for 99 weeks. So. Uh, I think there's a middle ground here. The, the, the total quote you just read strikes me as perfectly reasonable. 
uh, everybody in America is going to have to get re-educated all the time because jobs are going to change, technology is going to change, and if we're going to compete in the world market, right. we both have to have the best equipment and we have to have the best training. Former Speaker Newt Gingrich. Speaker Gingrich, always good for you to share your time with Congrats. us. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Matt. All right.